why do I ride motorcycles and and eventually why do I uh, vlog? Well, um, I ride, motor ride motorcycles primarily to commute, uh, to have fun. Um, I, uh, I've always wanted to ride motorbikes ever since I was a kid, but um, when, I, when I was old enough to, to get a license, etc., and I just never got around to doing it. Always had an excuse for, for not having having license, and then when I, I uh, um, got a bit older than that, I moved countries, and I guess the dream just kind of um, disappears after a while. You, you forget these things, um, and then I, I moved recently back with my wife to to Australia, back to Sydney, and um, my friend Nigel, he uh, he he picked up his his full license and a motorbike, and ow. That was a very large pothole. Um, and uh, he's been loving it, and I, I thought to myself, why the hell haven't I got a license? There's something wrong with me. I, I should just go and do it. And so I did. And um, I haven't looked back. Um, and uh, the reason why I'm vlogging, uh, Moto vlogging, um, well, because I can, because it's not too expensive to get a camera and hook it up and, and do it. Uh, obviously, I, I've been influenced heavily by people like Mordo13, who, who you know really started this whole genre of motorbike vlogging, whatever you like to call it. Um, and uh, I thought, well, you know, if that if some crazy Canadian in Taiwan can do it, so can I. Uh, I'm just as interesting as him. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's the case or not. You guys can be the judge of that. But, uh, yeah, why not? Why not vlog? Something to do, isn't it? You're on the bike, you ride around, you might see something interesting um, with a camera stuck to the side of your head. You can actually point it out and say, hey, look at that, that's really cool. And, um, and that's how Mord F13 has been so successful. Is, you know, he really does live in a in a interesting uh, society. He, uh, Taiwan is, you know, it's obviously very different to what um, you know most Americans, or Australians, or, or other English-speaking people would be used to. Um, so he really brings a nice uh, perspective to life in, a, in another country. And, um, and so that's what are you trying to do? Are you trying to pass me on the left? See you later.